Please, but uh, they don't ask you how uh, at the end of the year when they add the points up for the standings. They just ask you how many. So, uh, tough place to play uh, against the team that was picked to finish first in our league, not only by the coaches but the media. So, uh, they've got a lot of talent. They're a good team. They're physical. I mean, they really came out, I thought, with some urgency, their team tonight. And, you know, it took us a while before we could get going. So, uh, uh, but again, you know, big road victory. We've been on the road. Uh, you know, when I look back to this first half and uh, the start that we got and where we are now, it's night and day, this team. And without some pretty good players, without a Brent Baltus, without a Dylan Stamen, who we thought would be uh, staples in our lineup. So, uh, but guys have just filtered in and played well. And we got some other guys really pushing guys. So, uh, what can you say? But it's all, all, all team defense, you know, when you, when you play well without the puck. And, uh, you know, we, we struggled offensively tonight, all the two-on-ones, you know. We, we slowed things down, and we're uh, getting too unselfish. I want to see a bit, little bit more selfish. And when, then we got to hit the net. So, But overall, yeah, I mean, a big six points, and what a, a great way to uh, uh, finish the first half. Yeah, they tried to – it looked like they were trying to suck us into a, a physical game out there, and I thought for the most part we did a good job of staying away from it. Well, we did. You know, uh, I don't like when you get the, the four-on-fours a little bit, opens up the ice, and they got some guys who can move around pretty good. But, you know, overall I was happy. I thought the refs did a good job, let us play. Uh, had the one unfortunate call. There were 16 seconds left where they called an icing when we were shorthanded, and they got six guys on the ice, and we've got four. But, um, you know, and then it comes out to center ice, and, you know, even though Lucini, they still got a couple good looks at the end and maybe overpass the puck there. But a uh, real gritty, uh, I would call it a gritty effort by our team tonight. And, again, you know, big goal by Jake Lucini. So he's, he's starting to uh, heat up. It's too bad. He's probably wants to keep playing, but yeah. we got the Christmas break now. Can you give us a little summary, Coach, of what you told the guys right after the game in the locker room? Well, how proud I am of them. You know, it, it's, it's – we haven't I, – I, we might be the only team in college hockey that haven't, hasn't had not – has not had a break since uh, the first day of official practice we played a game and we haven't had a weekend off and we've been on the road if you can imagine i think that's 15 games now we've been on the road and only seven home games so it's tough to win on the road and uh, I, I just told them how proud i was and uh, you know most nights they show up and they play hard and maybe we don't execute some nights or maybe this doesn't happen but uh, overall they've been dialed in and uh, and I can hardly wait till the second half. I mean, uh, but it's a, it's a break that's well needed. We need to uh, get physically rested up, and we've got to get mentally away from the game a little bit and get rested up. And uh, they'll, they'll come back anxious to get going. I mean, when you, when you leave and you go to a break like this, I think it, it's the best thing possible. You know, you're, you're coming off such a high, and they'll be anxious to get back, which is a good thing. Well, Coach, uh, we'll let you go because I know we want to get on the bus and yeah. get to the try to beat some of this weather. But <laughs> yeah. what can you say about, again, the Husky fans here this weekend? Oh, incredible, incredible. You know, and, and they're going to come out in droves to the GLI. I, I know it already. So, uh, But you feel it, you know, right when you come out for warm-up and then you go out for the game. and. Uh, you know, they challenge the Bowling Green fans a little bit to get into it, but you know, we can't thank our fans enough, and uh, uh, we're anxious to get home to Copper Country and see some snow. We haven't seen any snow, really. We left and started coming down a little bit, so we haven't seen any snow, so I guess we're going to see it. But if any, anybody would like to, if anybody wants to go out and clean off the players' cars or anything like that, or mine's not there, so I, I don't have to worry about that, but that would be a nice little Christmas present. Uh, I guess you'd have to find out where they are, but... Uh, now, overall, uh, 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 a really solid weekend of hockey, and, uh, uh, you know, Jake Jackson, you could see his, I mean, a lot of good individual yeah. efforts tonight, so, uh, like I said, overall, real pleased with the result, and uh, looking forward to taking a break. Congratulations, Coach, it was a big weekend, and um, yes. we'll see you on Monday for your show at 10 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> sounds good, Derek. If I don't have to shovel my car out too bad, if I can find it, we'll, we'll be there. So, All right. uh, anyway, thanks. Thank Merry you. Christmas to everybody. I know we'll talk to the, uh, everybody on Monday, but I know that's coming up quick and uh, looking forward to the holidays. Coach's Corner brought to you by Aspire Scheme. A 2 1 the final here tonight. That's going to do it for our broadcast. And uh, we'll be back again on Monday, 10 o'clock in the morning, with the uh, Coach's Show, Mel Pearson Show here on Mix 93. Uh, congratulations to the Huskies. Thanks to all of our listeners tonight. Thanks to our. Um, sponsors. Thanks to Dave Ellis on the broadcast and for Scott Curtin back at our studios. This is Dirk Hebroff saying so long. Huskies get the sweep 2-1 to tonight over Bowling Green.